One of the reasons I became a physician was that I believe by being in healthcare, I can help people, right? Especially my family. After the uh, birth of our son, um, for a few months, my wife seemed to have a lot of symptoms. And it was only about year two and a half, almost three years, when we started to see her creatinine, which is a blood test about the function of your kidneys, started to climb. Another year's time, her, she was in full-on kidney failure. Despite my training, despite my knowledge, despite my access to healthcare and, and professionals, I'm still lost. And it was very frustrating. The only option then was to have a kidney transplant. There was so much testing that needed to be done, including regular blood tests, but also genetics, right? Trying to understand your genetics in order to make sure that when they find a donor, that their genetics matches yours so that there's that perfect match. By the end of the whole process, where we finally were able to have surgery, we were bankrupt as a family. Base 10 answered questions that I had had all my life. When I had a hundred calorie English muffin. Why was that such a bad thing? Because it's only a hundred calories. Little did I know it was that carbohydrates are not a good thing for my body to consume until I understood the genomics of my body. My business partner had very similar experience with his spouse. They ended up needing some very unique precision medicine testing genetics, and, and he, he too almost went through bankruptcy. That experience really got me to think about what having access to medicine means. Um, it's not just that those medicines or doctors or, or tests uh, exist, uh, but the fact that you have to be able to, to afford it. We decided that we need to find a way to truly democratize precision medicine technologies, whether it's a test or a device or a, a, a drug. Um, these Technologies are pretty much useless to you if you're not able to afford it. Uh, it might as well not have existed. And, and that was really the premise through which we found at Base 10. In the Base 10 genetics, they test you for your DNA results, but they look for various signs, heart, sugar readings, metabolism. There's a whole slew of tests that are performed. But here's the thing. I was helped by a fantastic um, nutritionist who explained the results to me. I'm a dietitian, but I'm also the nutrition programs manager. So I manage the nutrition genomics program and all the dietitians who would be coaching the participants in the program. Coaching can be a year long or more. Um, so it's a really long-term relationship with someone and we help walk them through their genetic results, help them understand your body's tendencies, you know, health tendencies. For example, what's your genetic tendency to have higher blood sugar or to need more vitamin D than other people. Also learn about what their health goals are and coach them towards reaching their health goals. So we'll help someone lose weight or manage their A1C. One of the tests that made a real impression on me was one which showed that I was deficient in how my body metabolized. When I told Samantha what I was eating and she told me why it was not right for my type, it just hit home to me. And it became very realistic to me and I got back on track. You can talk to your dietitian through phone, email, or text, really whatever works for you. We work with you to help you track your food in whatever way is best for you. For me, the importance of keeping a food diary was that it was keeping me on track on how to measure the portions of my food. I would take pictures. I would visualize what I needed to do. We also have the online portal through Base 10, so you can log in online anytime to see your genetic results. And you can also upload anything. For example, if you just went to your doctor and you have new blood work results that you want to share, you can send that through the online portal. With Base 10, it's a collaboration really between the physician and somebody like your nutritionist. In a period of eight to 10 weeks, I dropped approximately 22 pounds. My weight loss was so dramatic so quickly, my sugar readings got too low. I called my physician, told him what was happening. He took me off a very expensive medication called Jardians. We are really looking at a time when there is so much that is available as options that can make us healthier. We want to focus on the work that's actually just as hard, which is making that available to you.
We're not a lab trying to create the next uh, genetic test. There are plenty of labs, not just in the U.S., but around the world. But if it's not evenly distributed, if it's not evenly accessible, then it does seem like we're always stuck in the same place. Base 10 really is founded to, to change that. I've been off the program for a year. And a year later, my results are even better than they were a year ago. Really, as a dietitian, I try to make sure they, they know that I'm going to work with them with where they're at. I don't want to go back to the way of clothing that I used to be. And the image I always have is myself, 80 pounds heavier, not wearing a belt. So I always was known as the suspenders guy. And I never want to be the suspenders guy again. I found that Base 10 was able to appeal to me in a way that I couldn't find a solution before.